Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Though they are warships first and foremost, U.S. naval aircraft carriers are essentially floating cities. The average Nimitz-class carrier, for instance, is nearly 1,100 feet long, weighs over 100,000 tons, and can house more than 5,000 crew members, pilots, and officers at any given time. And while trash, sanitation, and other issues require constant attention, no task is more vital to the ship's mission. than feeding the thousands of men and women on board. The cooking on board aircraft carriers is accomplished by crew members known as culinary specialists. These men and women occupy galleys and mess decks where they are tasked with prepping, serving, and cleaning up roughly 15,000 meals per day. In the past, military meals consisted of bare bones, easy to prepare foods that prioritized full bellies over actual nutrition. Nowadays, the US Navy has strict nutritional guidelines to ensure those crew members living on board their ships get the vitamins and macronutrients they need to remain fit and healthy. Culinary specialists take great pride in their jobs and are known to put a lot of work into the recipes they prepare for their fellow crew members. From burgers and salads to seafood and vegetables, crews now have access to five-star quality food thanks to the hard work and creativity of these culinary teams. Food itself is not the only thing that has improved aboard military vessels. Over the years, the U.S. Navy has invested billions of dollars into improving crew members' mental health and living conditions. One of the ways they make their sailors feel more at home, despite being in the middle of the ocean, is to place enormous focus on holidays like Thanksgiving and Christmas. Aboard aircraft carriers like the USS Carl Vinson, Thanksgiving is one of the biggest and best meals of the year. Everything. Culinary specialists will cook turkeys, hams, mashed potatoes, and other traditional comfort foods in truly massive quantities. They may also add treats like ice cream and pie to the menu to enhance the experience even further. The USS Carl Vinson has actually established itself as one of the most crew-oriented vessels in the U.S. military. Aside from its yearly Thanksgiving feast, the Carl Vinson was the first American military vessel to get its own branded Starbucks coffee location. This state-of-the-art coffee shop allows sailors to enjoy a hot, cold, or flavored beverage at the beginning or end of their long workday. Despite being fully operated by military personnel, the shop is comparable to Starbucks locations on land and even uses many of the exact same ingredients and coffee blends. The Navy even sent executives from the global coffee company to sample the Carl Vinson's beverages and ensure they lived up to the Starbucks name. Amenities like this are a great way to give crew members a taste of home even when they're thousands of miles away. Best of all, Starbucks also agreed to have all of the profits from the Carl Vinson location go back to the crew. Another major like-home amenity found aboard most modern aircraft carriers is the ship store. 
This facility is akin to a small grocery store on land and offers crew members and visitors a wide variety of comfort foods and provisions. Among the selection, sailors will typically find snacks, food, candy, sodas, and energy drinks for purchase. They can also buy clothes, shaving kits, hygiene products, and other necessities. According to those operating the vessel, the average store sells between $10,000 and $20,000 worth of products each day. This money can then go toward expanding the store's selection and improving other facilities on board the ship. From food and coffee to candy and weaponry, everything used on board a naval vessel needs to be replenished from time to time. Underway replenishment is one way of achieving this. This is when a resupply vessel pulls up alongside another ship and runs a series of lines between them. These lines allow the ships to pass cargo, fuel, and ammunition from one ship to the other. But while this can help keep a ship at sea for months at a time or more, eventually, all vessels will need to come back to land. When this happens, most of the crew will go ashore and take some much needed leave. However, those in charge of resupply are required to stay on board and put away hundreds of pallets worth of food, general supplies, munitions, and more. Resupplying an aircraft carrier in this manner can take nearly 24 hours, even with the assistance of forklifts, elevators, and other equipment. It's essential that all of these items delivered are stored and labeled properly. Failing to secure refrigerated or frozen foods at the proper temperatures, for instance, can result in major problems that won't be discovered until weeks later. While military vessels are indeed a common sight out on the seas, they are far outnumbered by civilian ships performing a wide range of different duties. Whether their job is shipping, fishing, or transporting passengers, these vessels also need regular logistics services. That's where companies like Adamar International Ship Supply come in. The company specializes in delivering stores and stocks of foods, provisions, spare parts, and other important items directly to vessels. Ships can simply order what they need ahead of time, contact the provision company with their order, and let them know when they'll be in the area. The order will then be procured, put on a truck, and driven to a dock. If necessary, the items will be placed aboard a boat and delivered directly to the waiting vessel so that it doesn't need to bother coming into port. If an aircraft carrier has a civilian counterpart, it is most likely a modern cruise ship. These massive tourist vessels can reach more than 1,100 feet long and carry more than 5,000 passengers at once. Another factoring in the crew, it's not uncommon for a cruise ship to have 7,000 people on board at once. Of course, these individuals also need to be fed. 
However, unlike aircraft carrier crews, these paying customers demand multiple food options be available at all hours of the day. Companies like Disney and Carnival hire chefs from around the world to provide a wide range of cuisines for their onboard fine dining restaurants, buffets, galleys, and even fast food restaurants. Though the cruise ship chefs may be the stars of the show, they cannot do what they need to do without the hundreds of people working behind the scenes. One of the most important members of the kitchen team is the galley steward. These men and women are required to clean dishes, wash, rinse, and sanitize pots, and handle all food waste produced on board the ship. Without their hard work, the ship restaurants won't have the necessary plates, cups, and utensils to serve food, and the cooks wouldn't have the necessary tools to prepare it. Living and working on board a naval vessel or cruise ship is nowhere near as isolating as an oil rig. The primary reason is that the ships can move under their own power and return to port when needed. Oil rigs are essentially factories in the middle of the ocean. They can be several hundred feet high or more, with decks covered in mechanical and drilling equipment. There are our quarters and amenities for the workers, of course. These include galleys, game rooms, music rooms, and laundromats. Large oil rigs can house up to 200 workers at a time. and they too must be fed three meals a day by the rig's culinary teams. Oil rigs can be dozens or hundreds of miles offshore, meaning everything used on board must be brought there via ship or helicopter. This includes food, tools, replacement parts, and the work crews themselves. Crews are divided into three groups. Services, maintenance, and production. The service team is the only one not concerned with producing oil. Instead, they focus on feeding and tending to the other workers on the rig. They clean, cook, and provide medical service 24 hours a day to keep up with the nonstop shifts of the rest of the team. Regardless of the job, it's important to remember how crucial food and the people who prepare it are to the mission. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.